All right, our rhythm and movement sculpture. You will need paper. It could be blank, any color. Scraps are okay. But if you have um, two different types of colors, choose just one. You need a contrasting piece of paper. Um, cardstock would work or cardboard. Um, it should be roughly eight and a half by 11. You need scissors, maybe tape, glue for sure, and maybe a pencil. All right, so first you want to um, create some prototypes. We're eventually gonna be making, choosing one form and making it 15 times. But first, let's see what types of forms you can make out of paper. Um, choose something that's fairly simple. Don't choose like a really detailed um, origami swan, for example, because that will get lost in the uh, multitudes. So it's, all, it's really about one simple shape repeated many times. In the prototype stage, this is where you could use tape, right? Just to kind of get a rough idea of your shape or your form, but you sh will not be using tape later, right? To do so for a finished piece would be considered poor craftsmanship in this case. So once you've decided on your form, like I'm making this one, you need to make it at least 15 times. And a recommended way to do that will be to stack at least a few sheets of paper and cut them out um, together. You might need to do this a few times. 